sorry, there we go. An example of a system of equations that you can solve using elimination would be, uh, let's say we've got um, 2x plus 3y is equal to um, 7. And then the other uh, equation I'm going to have here is going to be, say, 5x minus 3y is equal to uh, negative 14. Now, with what I've taught you so far, you couldn't use substitution with this because neither of these two equations are set up so that you have um, either of them being x equal or y equal. So you don't have it set up right away so that you could substitute one of these equations in for a variable into the other equation. Also, um, if you look at the coefficients of the variables here, you've got 2x, you've got plus 3y, you've got 5x, and you've got minus 3y. Is there a coefficient of 1 anywhere in here? No, right? So there's nothing that I've shown you so far that will allow you to do this. So elimination, however, is a completely different way of thinking about how these two equations will interact with each other. And how you do elimination, uh, step number one, is you look for either matching or opposite coefficients. So remember, coefficient is that fancy math term for the number that goes in front of the variable. So you're looking for either matching or opposite coefficients. So in this case, you're focusing on the x's and the y's. So you're not going crosswise. You're not looking for an x and a y to match, and you're not looking for an x and a y to match or be opposite. You're looking for x's to match or be opposite and y's to match or be opposite. And you need to take the sign of the coefficient into account. So in this case, I've got 2x and 5x. Do these two match or are they opposite? Well, they're not, they're not opposite because like 2 and 5, by opposite I mean like 5 and negative 5, or 5 and 5 is, like 5 and 5 is matching, and 5 and negative 5 is opposite. But like 5 and 8 are neither. Does that make sense? And like 7 and negative 15 are neither. So are 2 and 5, are they matching, are they opposite, or are they neither? Okay. And then I've got plus 3y, and I've got minus 3y. Are these matching? Are these opposite, or are they neither? They're opposite. Do you guys see that? Okay. So step number two here. If they're matching, then you're going to add, or sorry, sorry, I did that wrong. If they're matching, you're going to subtract. And then if they're opposite, then you're going to add. And what I mean by add here is you're going to take these two equations and you're going to turn them into one great big addition or subtraction problem. So I draw a line underneath this, the last equation. I'm going to put the last equation into parentheses here, and this part's important. And then I'm going to, if they're matching, subtract everything in the bottom from everything on top. And if they're opposite, I'm going to add everything in the bottom to everything that's on top. So in this case, because the 3y and the minus 3y were opposite, will I add these two or will I subtract these two? Okay. So I'm going to add these two together. So 2x plus 5x makes how many x's? So 7x. And I can do that because they're both x's. They're like terms. Uh, positive 3y plus negative 3y makes what? Zero. zero y. So I can just cancel it out. It goes away. I'm going to drop down my equal sign. And then 7 plus negative 14 turns into what? Negative 7. And now I have this nice, neat little one-step equation to solve. So I've got 7x equals <coughs> negative 7. Bless you. So how would I solve this for x? So I'm going to divide both sides by 7. And x is equal to what? Negative 1. 
Now this is only one of my two solutions though, right? I gotta find the y. So to find the y, I'm gonna substitute back into the original either one doesn't matter. So I can substitute this negative one back into the top or back into the bottom. Personally, I'm gonna go with the top just because the numbers are smaller. You could go with the bottom if you wanted to. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. You're gonna get the same answer no matter what. I'm gonna choose the top though just because the numbers are smaller. So I'm gonna do, instead of two times x, two times negative one plus three y equal to seven. And now I have to solve this for y. So two times negative one is negative two plus three y equal to seven. Now if I'm solving for y, what would be the next step here? Add two to both sides. These are gonna cancel. And I have three y is equal to whatever seven plus two is. 9, right? Now what? Divide 9 by 3. Divide 9 by 3. <coughs> and I get that y is equal to like a million. Oh, okay, that's much better. 3. A million and 1. And then I'm going to list my answer as a coordinate because these are two lines that are intersecting. And so what's the coordinate? Negative 1, 3. Okay. How does this feel? Good, bad, and different? Like math? Math-ish? Math-esque? Math-onic? Alright. No, I made them up. Okay, so let's try, let's try another one here on your own, and then uh, we'll jump into the assignment, and we'll do the first part of the assignment together. So, um, give me a second here. I gotta come up with the problems. Mm -hmm. So let's do um, 2x um, minus 3y is equal to um, 14. And then we'll do negative 2x plus 4y is equal to uh, negative 16. So copy this down into your notes. Uh, give it a try on your own. If you feel like you have the answer, raise your hand. If you have no idea what you're doing, or if you get stuck at any point along the way, raise your hand.
this isn't too bad. It's less work to get the first one, but it's more work to get the second one in this way. Okay, so the y is negative 2, so you should go away. And then when you, so your y is right. And then when you substitute it into the original equation, you make sure that you substitute it in for y, not for x. But other than that, you're on the right track. All right. So not too bad so far. All right. Let's take a look at um, how this looks in assignment form. I know, I'm excited too. You should like I know. figure this out for us, like make sure I got the See, okay, I passed Algebra 1 like in 1993. Woo, I'm going to go back 10 years. Right, 20. 23 years, dude. Like, Wait, Jurassic, no, 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 24, 2017. Jurassic Park was in theaters. Like, the, the original Jurassic Park was in theaters at the end of the year when I passed out the rules. Because, like, they saw what happened with Jurassic Park. They were like, oh, let's do this again. It's because people are idiots, and they always consent to it. They're like, oh, it's going to be bloody ass. 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 Okay, so, so like, yeah, uh, let's take a look at these here. My bigger dinosaurs. So, shh, quiet please. Let's take a look at these here. Now, some of these you could add or subtract. Some of them will be your choice. So, in fact, the first three can be your choice. Um, yeah, so, well, actually, no. Uh, one and three will be your choice, not number two. So, on number one, you have 7x and negative 7x. And then you have negative 2y and positive 2y. So you have a pair of opposites and another pair of opposites. So you can actually, something interesting is going to happen with number one here, right? Um, now, since we've got opposites, do we add or do we subtract? Add. Great. So you just learned this five minutes ago, and you're already applying joy to it. That's awesome. So we're going to do 7x plus negative 7x. What happens to those? They become zero. Negative 2y plus 2y, what happens to those? Okay, now there's, there's nothing left on this side. What's the mathematical symbol for nothing? Zero. Great. Negative 1 plus 1 turns into zero. Okay, zero equal to zero. Reach way back into like, yes. Okay, why is it infinitely many solutions and not no solutions? Because zero. Because zero. Have a variable. Because zero. No, because it's not zero just one. Is zero. It's not just because you don't have a variable. It's, it's, it's because be the variable zero is zero. Right? It's because they're equal to each other. Okay. If it was zero equal to four, Seven. then it would be no solution. If the variables go away and there's no more variables and you're left with something that's true, like zero equal to zero, then it's infinitely many solutions. If you're left with something that's false, like 0 equal to 7, then it's no solutions, no 0 with a line through it. If it's something that's true, it's infinitely many solutions or the infinity symbol. Okay? There's a difference there. That's only if the variables go away and you have 0 x's. That's not the same thing as if x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 is fine. 0 is a number. Okay? Let's look at zero number lives matter. Yes. Let's take a look at number two here. We've got uh, x, and if it's plain x, what number is in front of it? Okay. And we've got negative x. What number is in front of that? One. Not one, but negative one. Negative one. So we've got one and negative one. Are these each? Are these uh, the same or opposite? Opposite. Okay. So we've got opposites. We've got negative y. What number is in front of that? One. Negative one. And then we've got negative two. Are these equal or opposite? Neither. Or neither. neither. They're neither, right? So we've got opposites and we've got neither. So since we've got opposites here, do we add or do we subtract? Okay, we're going to add these two together. So x plus negative x makes what? Zero. Zero goes away. Negative y plus negative 2y. Negative 3y. Because you got to respect that negative. You're doing negative 1 plus negative 2 makes it more negative. It 
make it negative 3. And then we're doing 0 plus negative 15. Negative 15, I heard somebody say. Good. Now we just have a one-step equation to solve for y. Y is equal to 5. Thank you, Juju. So y is equal to 5. Now we have to take what y is equal to, and you can choose either one of these two. It doesn't matter. One of these two equations, substitute y in, and use that to find x. Top one I would suggest, yes, because the numbers are smaller. So x minus 5 equals 0. You okay? All right. How would we solve for x here? Add 5 to both sides. And what is x equal to? 5. So as a coordinate, what would it be? 5, five. five comma 5. Okay. Kind of sort of? Yeah. Are you meaning to record our assignment? Uh, no. I'll stop it. Christina, same question? All right.